Hey guys, welcome back. So, I was in Walmart the other day and I went down the craft section or whatever it is that you call it and I found some flake that I've heard people say works and I've heard people say it really went bad in their microwave. So, I picked up a little square thing of this color here and this was at Walmart in the craft section. As you can see, it's got lots of different colors. It's like a blue bar style flake. It's got like a purple, maybe a hexagon flake and appears some holographic or some silver. So there's really only one way to know if this is gonna blow up in the microwave or not. And that's to try it out. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got a Pyrex cup here with three quarters of a cup of bait plastics in it. And this is the flake we're gonna add. I'm going to get this warm, not completely done, but warm. And then we're gonna add this and stir it up. And then we're gonna put it back in the microwave. See what happens. If it doesn't blow up the microwave, we'll shoot some baits in it and just check it out. Okay, it is just kind of the clear gel color at the moment. So now, we're gonna add some of this. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else. I'm just gonna leave it clear and add this. So let's just dump some in here and let's see what happens. Cause I don't really know. We just wanna get some in here. I can always add more after the fact, but I just wanna test its reaction in the microwave pretty much. So I'm trying to get, it's a little harder when it's more of a gelatin here, but That'll give us a good starting point. And now I'm gonna throw this back in the microwave and we will see what happens. Okay, so I was able to microwave this for a minute without any issues at all. It actually makes kind of a cool color there. As you can see it, it looks more blue. I'm not sure the purple flake really survived. But yeah, let's, uh, let's shoot some baits in it. Now, I want to be very clear about this while we are shooting these. Just because I stuck this in the microwave and it didn't damage my microwave does not mean that you will have the same results. And I don't condone you doing this unless you're going to do it at your own risk. So I'm not saying this is microwave safe. All I'm saying is that it didn't blow up my microwave. So take that for what you will. I'm not saying that you should try this. And I'm certainly not saying that that's microwave safe. I'm just saying I didn't have issues. So, just wanted to make sure we were on the same page there. Now, let's pull some of this up. This is the three inch crappie slayer that I'm about to shoot. Okay. There is the three inch crappie slayer shot. And we will test it out. Put the rest of that back in there. And then we will also shoot the two inch crappie slayer because why not? I think we have enough plastic left, so I don't see any reason why we shouldn't shoot both. And we can see what this looks like without any pigment. I think it's gonna be a really good purpley blue color, judging by the pucks and the pieces I pulled off the injector just now. So now, let me get this at an angle where I can get the rest of this out of here. I don't know that I had enough, but we'll try. Maybe. We might have had enough. It's going to be really close. I don't think we had enough. Okay, let's crack this mold over. This over. And then we'll pull this out. Yeah, and that is what we came up with. These actually look pretty freaking good. It's a really cool color. It's kind of, it's more purple. It's really bizarre. It's a really purpley blue color. And then in certain lights, it almost has a black pitch to it in the camera. Yeah, let's pull these out of here. 
So this is no pigment at all. And they really do look more purple than on camera. These look more like a dark blue on camera, but they really are more purple. Like look at the top ones there. You can kind of see that they're more purpley. Yeah, that's what it looks like in person. It has definitely a little more of a purple. Flip it over. These look really good for not having any pigment in these. These look really, really good. This isn't bad at all. This comes really close to the color from this MF. Like, wow. I'm really shocked at how well those turned out. Yeah. I'm not going to say it won't blow up your microwave, so use this in your microwave at your own risk. But this right here from Walmart, this is like $3 a thing. I didn't use very much in this. And they look really good. It dyed the whole plastic like a bluey purple color. So I noticed like when you look at these baits versus when you look at this, this has lots of purple in it. And you can see it a little bit there. But when you look at these baits, the baits don't really have any purple. So I'm guessing whatever they made the purple out of just melts and kind of bleeds into the plastic. And that's why you get this color here. Let's open up this two inch and take a look at the two inch as well. They turned out really good. I am a big fan of this color. This is probably one of the best non pigment colors that I've ever made. This looks phenomenal. Yeah, okay. Not gonna say I won't love your microwave, but this right here, I would give it a solid nine out of 10 on color. Like, that is really amazing. Okay, I like the color so much that I went ahead and microwaved another batch for uh, three minutes. So I remelted the batch that we originally had added classes all to it. And so basically that plank was in my microwave for over three minutes. Now I've noticed it does look a little more blue after I've done a remelt. So I'm curious to see how these baits turn out. This is the bigger rocket grub. So we're gonna shoot it in a little bigger bait and then we're gonna shoot it in some prey baits as well and see how consistent that color is after being remelted. It looks more blue to me now, which is fine. I mean, it's still cool. And we'll just kind of see what happens. We'll give that a second to uh, sink that in there and then we'll top it off with the cup. Okay, now we're gonna shoot this prey bait. Make sure I don't have no crap in my injector. And let's shoot some prey baits. I really want to try the smaller version of this mold, maybe in the future. We'll get a hold of that and try it out. So I think that could be very interesting. Okay, we'll give these a second to cool off and then we will open the rocket grub. Okay, I think we can open these rocket grubs. We'll check how they turned out. Oh yeah, they look really good. Yeah, they look really good. Let's flip these back around here so that you guys can see a little better. And yeah, that's a really good, that's a lot better look at that color there. This color has been showing up really blue and you can kind of see it looks more purpley blue there. Those look really good. I cannot get over the effect that has with no pigment. It's really bizarre. And those look good. That is a really unique color too. That would make a really killer trailer right there. Okay, got our prey bait here. Turn you where you can see a little better. Okay. Oh yeah. Check those out. Those look really good. Super impressed by this fillet. It gives it a really neat color I wasn't expecting. Yeah, not bad at all. 
So yeah, there you have it. I can't guarantee it won't blow up your microwave, but if it doesn't, it makes a super cool color. Really pleased with how these turned out. Man, that's just such a good color. Such a unique color. I don't have nothing like this. So. Yeah, turned out really good. If you want to pick up any of these molds that we use today, you can head on over to the description and there will be a link to Epic Bait Molds where you can pick up some phenomenal molds for yourself. If you wanna buy any of these crazy baits or any other baits from any other videos, you can hop on over to the description and there will be a link to my store. Um, I don't follow a recipe. I don't rebuild the same thing a bunch of times. So uh, it's worth following the shop because you see all kinds of new stuff coming in that may only be made once. So I can't guarantee that there'll be whatever you wanted from a video in the store at the moment. I rebuild stuff sometimes, sometimes I don't. But yeah, there will be some of this on there for sure. And we'll just have to see, you know, how long this lasts. But we'll keep making some more and adding stuff to the store. So you definitely uh, are free to head on over there. All that money goes back into this so that I can keep doing these crazy videos like this and mold reviews and unboxings and all that. There will be a giveaway at 500 subs for some baits and a $25 Epic Bait Molds gift card. So you might want to subscribe and stick around for that if that's something that interests you. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like and a subscribe to keep up to date with all this other stuff. And I appreciate you watching, and I will catch you in the next one.